We have with us tonight on the news are the principal of the very renowned Sanskriti school in New Delhi, Gauri Ishwaran, uh, former principal. Thank you very much, uh, Gauri Ishwaran. Uh, Dhruv Mittal is a student at the Faculty of Management Sciences in Delhi University. Uh, we have with us former principal of uh, Hindu College, Delhi University, Professor Kavita Sharma. My first question tonight is to Smita Prakash, who is a television personality, but he, she comes tonight as a parent and her son is giving the class 12 examination and she has some problems with that question. Now, what is your problem with that question? That is the question, uh, Smita, which says you witnessed a bomb blast in a Delhi market when you went there shopping with your parents for Diwali purchases, write a report. I mean, it's a slice of life. I mean, unfortunately, I'm sorry to sound cynical, but this is a reality. You open the newspapers, you read about it. So what, what is really worrying you about that question, please? Not denying that it's reality, but what I have a problem is that it's totally inappropriate that a 16 or 17 year old ch child is asked and is being examined on whether he can write a report on a terror strike. You know, what next? I mean, how are you going to grade the child? That if he writes that there are bodies lying, you get six marks. If you write there was a stampede, then you get uh, uh, nine marks. And if you write that there were limbs all over the place and I was injured and my parents died, you get 10 out of 10. How are you going to grade the child? And then what next? Are you going to say that um, next year you're going to have a child uh, 2002 Naroda Patia and how you experienced it? Or you're going no. to have 2611 uh, sitting in Basabi restaurant no, but, and uh, you know, what did you experience during 2016? No, but do we need a sterilized, you know, protected, weak generation? I mean, that's, I'm just putting a counter argument to you tonight. Absolutely not. There is no choice for the child but to face it. My problem is that don't have to have a question which says first-hand report. You can have a question which says write an essay on terrorism, its impact on today's generation, its and how uh, we have to cope with terror strikes. But you don't have to do a first-person report is what I say. Uh, Dhruv Mittal, Dhruv Mittal may have given the class 12 exam four or five years back. Let me ask him, Dhruv, would you be... If you put yourself in the shoes of a class 12 student taking the exam, would you be recounting trauma? Would you be going through a terrible experience? Would you rather to write about something more pleasant? Anup, to be very honest, I think this whole question, whether <coughs> this particular question is inappropriate, insensitive, it seems like such a farce because I think we live in a very hypocritic society. Uh, on one hand, you have the same kids who are exposed to all forms of violence. They're exposed to the internet and they are exposed to all kinds of language. I saw uh, children bringing their kids to the movie Agni Path and they were witness to all kinds of horrendous violent scenes and then we get overly sensitive about an issue like this. I as a student, I mean, I think that this is a reality of life and unfortunately it's a prevalent issue in India. And as ma'am pointed out before this, that how will you be graded? Probably the CBSE is just trying to grade you on how much command you have over your language. No. And maybe just trying to see that what do you think about no. current issues and trying to put yourself in a situation like this and probably become more sensitive to the issue instead of just giving a third hand why, report why do you on maybe what terrorism is all about. Well, Smita doesn't agree. I allow her one quick rebut before I go. go. Smita, you want to respond quickly to that before I go to other panelists. If there's another question we need to debate tonight, yeah. That's true that, you know, children are watching films, children are also seeing things like rape, they're watching uh, alcoholism, they're watching extramarital affairs. That doesn't mean that they write first person accounts. Even journalists don't know how to report on terror incidents. It's a very sensitive thing to write a first person account. Write an essay, that's a different point of view, but a first person account is where you have to be sensitive about how you feel if you are on location. No, and okay, believe me, years of experience that Arnab might have, I have, it's extremely difficult to write a terror incident and being there. Gauri Ishwaran, there's another, there's another very interesting part about this exam. Right? In one part, there's a comprehension passage where there is one part which says there are some individuals who accept competition in a healthy fashion. There are others who collapse into weeping wrecks before an exam. Now, uh, you know, I don't, I, you know, Gauri Ishwaran, you know, you know the impact that the exam and people writing this exam are already facing some pressure and there may be some people who feel the pressure. Now when you're seeing a passage like this, is this one big stereotype that you would rather avoid while putting a question paper? Uh, Arnab, I think one, we must see this in per perspective that the examination is being written by children who are 16 to 18 who are on the threshold of adulthood, who uh, read newspapers, watch the uh, news channels, 
who play various games, see movies. Um, I think we should not get overtly sensitive about this issue. I don't see why they should not be prepared to write a first person report on a topic like this. You know, um, the 21st century yawning ahead of us is a complete, you know, we don't know what kind of life our children will lead. We can't mollycoddle them in cotton wool and, you know, try and protect them from everything. And when you talk about insensitivity, you see, for example, all of us go through tragedies. I recently lost somebody whom I love, but that doesn't mean <coughs> others will not talk about it. No, there's one it's parent... You know, the reality is... No, one parent The wrote... reality is that... Hmm. Now, one parent yes. wrote, is uh, uh, quoted here, P.K. Mohanty, a government employee, uh, said, you know, this particular passage, the second passage I read out, which said that there are some individuals who accept competition in a healthy fashion, there are others who collapse in like repeating wrecks. They said that this, you know, my, it made students nervous while writing the exam. You know, they, they got anxious. I, I, they want this, I, his son started I wondering, am I depressed? So. You don't think so? I don't think so because children, no, we must <coughs> give cr chil children more credit uh, for what they are worth. Children are, do not collapse quite so easily. They are far more pragmatic and practical than we give them credit for. And I really do not think that this particular question should be creating the kind of debate that it has generated. Okay. Uh, we must learn. <coughs> also, Arnav, uh, in class 9 and 10, I know that the social studies syllabus has an entire component on disaster management. So it's something that you're preparing your kids for. Yeah. And I don't think we should turn a blind eye and prepare yeah. them uh, for I a think world that's not going to be there. The parent the parent on the panel is, is, is disagreeing to a great extent with what you are saying, but I want to go across to Kavita Sharma. Uh, Professor Kavita Sharma, as a, as a very well-known educationist, you have a lot of experience here tonight. You know, there are, are parents getting ultra-sensitive? Are some parents getting hypersensitive? Is, 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 is Smita Prakash being hypersensitive as a parent of a class 12 student tonight about the impact of these, uh, the relevance of these... Uh, do, do, are we seeking political correctness in examinations now? Um, it may seem so at first hand, but I think there are two, two things to it. One is to make your children ready and prepared for whatever comes in front of them, and the world is not a very easy place to live in right now. The other is the appropriateness <coughs> of a question for an exam. There is absolutely no need, I think, to create that stress in an already stressful situation. Surely talk about disaster management, talk about terrorism, talk about whatever else. I mean, there are more horrendous things also happening. <clears throat> but do it as a co-curricular, do it as a teaching uh, thing, do it to make them aware of and uh, be aware of the pitfalls. But why an exam question? Then you also have three sets of question papers. Now, do you have this question in all the three sets or only is one set subjected to it? I think also that we need to develop a system which is prevalent in many parts of the world where exams are held, that you continuously <coughs> research your question, question the question, and then try to fine tune your question paper so as to not hurt sensibilities. The idea if it is to test your imagination, to test your writing skills, there are better ways of doing it than, pr than putting all these insensitive questions. Now your second question on competition. That question as it is people are stressed out and it's not a question of just getting so many marks in the exam. What they are stressed out about is getting um, admission into what they consider prestigious colleges. And therefore, <coughs> to add more stress that you are a weakling and you are going to collapse if you don't uh, whatever do well and if you don't stand up to competition, I think is a bit insensitive. To me, at least, it's <coughs> a bit insensitive. No, I mean, there are two, two views, you know. The one view is that uh, you need to be tough. 